Hello, it's Adam and Bob from Partners in Crime. We're here with a very special uh, one-off video in which uh, we're going to play um, a little game which we've been sent. Um, for those of you who don't know us, we present the podcast Partners in Crime. We, um, we're actually only about half a mile away from each other, and we do, in normal times, tend to present the podcast literally together. But of course, due to the, the lockdown, the pandemic, we're forced to do it like this. But nevertheless, there is a game... It's this one, Foul Play. We're, um, we're going to be playing the online face crime version in which we don't need to be together, which is good because we're not legally allowed to be. Um, we, we've had a little um, had a little go already to try and familiarise ourselves with it, haven't we, Bob? <laughs> uh, yes. <laughs> and and first, it's the first time you'd opened the pack and uh, you destroyed me within about four minutes. So yeah, ruthless. I'm, I'm... I didn't realise I was being ruthless. I just, it was pure <laughs> luck. Beginner's <laughs> luck. I'm not looking forward to um, to playing the full game, but nonetheless, um, the game rules say, Welcome to Edwardian England. The Lord of the Manor is dead, the servants are our lead suspects, and it's up to you as detectives to prove which one committed the dastardly deed. Um, so, essentially, um, it's a little bit like Guess Who. We've got eight suspects uh, who I will uh, run through in just a moment. Each of us will um, pick a suspect and the other person has to guess which suspect we've got through all sorts of different um, cards and pickups and plays and daring do. So, should we meet our suspects, Bob? Yes, why don't we? Okay. okay. So we have, first of all, Mason Smothers, the butler. Ideas above his station, but he's not above stooping low enough to listen at the keyholes. Smothers has learned through some accidental eavesdropping that 25 years of loyal service will reward him with a very healthy inheritance from his lordship, once the lord has passed. Stealing the silverware would become a thing of the past, and good things come to those who wait, if only his miserly master would hurry up and die. Now, the red text at the bottom is something we'll, we'll come back to uh, throughout the game. These are the identifying features of each of our suspects. We have Lilith Lynch, if I press the right button, the housekeeper. Yes, she's there. The used to be happily married to the head groomsman at the manor. Unfortunately, Mr Lynch died whilst out on a hunt with Lord Dark. Or Lord Dark Air. I'm not sure. Lord Dark, maybe. It seemed that his lordship's shotgun accidentally discharged in Mr Lynch's direction several times. Apparently, Lord Dark mistook him for a pheasant, so it was really Mr Lynch's fault for looking like a bird and wasn't his lordship's mistake at all. Mrs Lynch isn't bitter. These things happen. Guns can go off by accident just as swords can accidentally fall off the wall and impale people several times. <laughs> we have Mort Throttle, the chauffeur. Mortimer never complains. He has the worst quarters and works the longest hours. There's even a rumour going around that his lordship doesn't pay him a wage. He seems happy enough, though. Maybe it's because he gets to drive one of those newfangled motor vehicles around all day. Or maybe it's because the lord holds a deep, dark secret about his past. A secret that has a life-ruining consequences, if it's ever revealed. Maybe that's why Mortimer just has to carry on and keep smiling until such a time that Lord Dark doesn't hold any influence over him anymore. Maybe that's why he's so passive all the time. Or maybe it's just because he likes driving the car. We have Olive Mangle, the cook. She oh. isn't well. She hasn't been feeling well for a while. She, she doesn't to... look great, does she? She doesn't, no. It's the teeth. Uh, she tried to or stuff lack of them. <laughs> She tried to stuff a turkey for dinner the other night and it spoke to her. It told her things <laughs> that the Lord had been saying about her, about her cooking. The things he said about her soup. The words he used to describe her sprouts, matron. How could he say that about her broccoli? She made the turkey shut up. And if she ever heard anyone else say those things about her cooking, she'd make sure they shut up too. For good. We have Harry Hemlock. Mr. Hemlock hasn't worked at the manor for long, but he has a long and illustrious career as a gardener for rich families. It's just unfortunate all his previous employers have either disappeared or ended up dead through freak accidents. Oh, he's got form. It's purely coincidental he's being employed at these houses when the deaths occurred. Absolutely circumstantial that most of the deaths involve gardening implements, and it's purely incidental that one of his previous missing employers was discovered buried in a particular particularly luscious bed of hydrangea. What possible motive could Mr. Hemlock have for killing all of these people? It's not as if there's such a thing as a serial killer in Edwardian England. Now, I must apologise for the um, apostrophe usage in this text. I didn't write it. Uh, Frau Vermouten, the governess. <laughs> there is unrest in Europe. It seems that a war is looming. With his appointment to the House of Lords, 
apostrophe, defence committee, Lord Dark is away from the manor quite a lot, so he has hired a new governess for his youngest daughter. It gives his lordship one less thing to worry about, as there is talk that top secret documents are somehow being stolen and sent to England's enemies. The leak certainly isn't coming from Lord Dark, as he keeps all his top secret paperwork in his study, and the only other people who use that room are his daughter and her governess for her lessons. Uh, Killian Lynch, is that how you say it? Killian rather than Cillian? Yes, Killian, I think. Killian, okay. Well, growing up on the Dark Estate, Killian became very close to his lordship's eldest son, Charles. In fact, he's been helping him with the problem. Charles was supposed to be engaged to the daughter of an earl, but is in love with someone else and he doesn't know what to do. The lord has told Charles if he doesn't get married, he'll be banished from the estate forever. Charles doesn't want to leave, though. Killian doesn't want Charles to leave. In fact, they've been spending a lot of time together in the stables, trying to come up with a solution to the problem. Okay. If only Lord Dark wasn't around to control his son's life, then Charles could be with the one he loves, and so could Killian. We have... Ivy Smothers. When her parents oh. died, she came to live with her uncle Mason. See, some of these uh, characters are related as well. Um, on the estate, she lives life as the maid of the house, but some of her duties are a bit strange. The Lord insists that she warm his bed for him every night, and sometimes he even gets into it before she gets out. Then there was the time he wanted her to try on some dresses he'd bought for his eldest daughter while he watched. He's always dropping things too, and then she has to bend down and pick them up for him, then he drops them again. Still, as strange as it is, at least she has her own room. There's the old portrait in there that seems to be watching her every time she gets undressed at night. It's almost as if the eyes are moving. Maybe she'll poke them with something sharp one night to stop them staring. Well, there are our suspects. Wow. Um, what we're going to do is we're going to pick one each, um, either at random or just visually because we fancy the, that person being the, the suspect. So I'm going to pick my one now out of my uh, red suspect cards and I'm going to put that on the table now Bob if okay, you and um, I'm going to do the same I okay. am Ooh. if you look away for a moment Bob I will show the camera who my suspect is okay if you want to not look at the screen so that is uh, in my suspect that's oh, who I've chosen oh don't I look at that. See that good that's who I've chosen <laughs> Right. Um, if you do the same, I'll look away. Okay. Are we done? Yes. Okay. Now, the other suspects can be shuffled into the main pack of the game. So pop those other suspects into the deck of cards, which we've got here. And I'll shuffle those. I'll try and shuffle them high in front of the camera. It's not easy. But just to prove that I am shuffling every day. There we go. Okay. And if we put those down, then that will be our evidence okay. locker, those cards. So what we have to do is take the top five cards in our hand. I don't know how then... else you take them. In your mouth, between your toes. I mean, you can try. You are on camera, though, so be careful. So these are the five cards that I have. I won't show you what they are, but they will all be either one of the suspect cards that we have just put back into the deck, or they will be one of these. So there'll be a fair play card. Now, the cards have got things written on them, but their usage differs a little bit because we're playing the online um, face crime version of this. So these are what the cards are used for. Fair play means the opponent must show their red backed cards. So in that case, essentially, you can see any other suspects that are in their hand. And you know that if they're in their hand, it's not the suspect they chose earlier. So you can discount them and you know that's not the suspect they have. You can use foul play, which makes all of your opponent discard all of their blue, green or purple cards. So, for example, I've got uh, two green and two purple. So Bob could make me discard all of those. You use the yellow card. You will need that if you think you know who the opponent's suspect is. You need that to accuse them. Or if someone's used the foul play card on you and have got rid of some of your cards, you can use that to replenish your hand back to five cards. Now there's the red herring as well, which means that if Bob shows me an evidence card, for example, which is something entirely different we'll get onto in a minute, then I can refuse to answer his question. There's a block card, which means that you can block what the opponent has just done, 
including an accusation. So if they are absolutely certain it's the suspect, they play their crime scene card to accuse you, it doesn't matter. Show them the block card, and uh, that just completely falls on its backside, and the game carries on even though they know who it is, and they have to find another crime scene card in order to accuse again. Uh, interrogation cards, which means that you make the detective opposite you show their entire hand, and the cooperation card, which means we both have to reveal our hands. Now, there are also evidence cards, Bob. I'll go first because I've got one. Um, Great. And so, for example, the evidence card I'm going to play from my hand is this one, which says the killer carries keys. Oh. So we're referring to our cast of characters here. Now, of course, you know who your suspect is that you picked earlier, the one that you showed to the camera. Looking on that, does your suspect carry keys according to those character biographies? Right. And I am going to... Can I show you this car? Yeah, we can. Oh. It's a red herring car. Red herring. So I don't... He, Bob is under no obligation then to answer that piece of evidence. So that has now gone on my discard pile, and I've picked up a replacement card, and it's now Bob's turn. And I get I pick up a replacement no card evidence. as well because I've just put that down. Yes. Uh, okay. Is it uh, whose go? Is it your go? Is it? It's your go. Yes. Oh, my go again. Is it? Well, you haven't had one yet, technically. Right. That, some okay, red herring card I'm, you played was I'm against mine, show... isn't it? Interrogate. So I have to show you my entire hand. I'd like that very much. Thank you. Which is very annoying. So I have a foul play oh. card. Yeah. I have an evidence card asking if the killer has a red flower. Uh -huh. I have Ivy Smothers, the maid. So therefore, uh -huh. you know that can't be my suspect. If she's in my hand, she can't be on my desk as my suspect. I have a card, an evidence card, asking if the killer has brown hair. And I have a red herring. Uh -huh. It is my hand at present. Thank you very much. Right, I'll pick up another one. So, I'm going to play you one of those evidence cards, and the one I'm going to play is okay. The Killer Has Brown Hair. Uh huh. And I'll replenish my hand. We can look and see all the killers on Let's board. have a look at that. So, does the killer okay. have brown hair? Oh, I'm sorry, I've just seen what you're doing in the background. Red herring, I'm not crying out loud. How many of those have you got? Note. There we are. My not answering. Is... I've taken the fifth. <laughs> my there client has no comment, officer. <laughs> right, right, mine. Your turn. Okay. Uh, ba, 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 ba. I'm going to do an evidence one as well. <laughs> the killer Does the glasses. killer wear glasses? And you know what? In the interest of fairness... I ain't answering nothing, oh. Gov. You rotter! You can't make me. God, Red herrings. Okay, Plenty enough. of those flying okay. around tonight. Okay, yeah. Right, so I'm my guy. Eventually. Yes. I've just seen our names underneath here. That's very good. Agatha, Agatha Crofty. Crofty. Sir Arthur Conan Doors. Yeah. Very good. <laughs> um, well, uh, there's only so many red herring cards you can have, so I'm playing another evidence card. The killer mm. has a red flower. Let's ah, go back like to, to the see character. What, we have here, then. Uh, what was that again? Has the killer Can, got a red flower? Got a red flower. Ah, yes. So, um, and the answer to that is. So, for example, Killian has a tattoo of a rose. Uh, well, Ivy Smothers has one in her oh, hat. Lilith Lynch has one on her um, brooch, red flower brooch. Mason Smothers um, has a red flower in his lapel. So. Normally well, the answer to hand. you is yes. Okay. So I know it's either Mason Smothers, Lilith Lynch, Ivy Smothers, or Killian Lynch. I don't think the others have red roses that I can see. No, so I'm going to... This is off. good, isn't it? I'm enjoying this. Yeah. I'm not it's getting very more... far, but I'm enjoying it. <laughs> well, I've lasted longer than I did in the uh, the warm-up game. Yes. Play, uh... Where you just, <laughs> just ended me in about three minutes. So I know it's either Mason, Lilith... Killian or Ivy. From what I can see, the different pieces of evidence tends to um, halve the number of suspects each time. So that's that's a good thing. Okay, here's a micro, isn't it? Yeah. There we are. Does the victim 
What's the stab? stab? Da, 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 da. Um, I have to answer that as well, don't I? So the victim was the victim stabbed. So, um, in other words, is my suspect carrying something stabby or something shooty? And the answer is they are not carrying something stabby. Right. Mm. Okay. So presumably, you know, it's not Lilith. It's not Olive. It's not Frau Vermutin, who's carrying a sword, and not Ivy. So whittling down the list of suckers yes, each time. Yes, whittling it down. So, right. um, who have I got less? I've got these two. Okay, so how many am I going to be able to get rid of if I... Okay, one, two. Okay, so I can halve it again with any luck by... Evidence cards. The victim was shot. Or was the victim shot? Mm. So essentially the reverse of what you've just asked me about mine. So is your uh, is your suspect carrying a shooty thing or a stabby thing? A shooty thing. Okay, so they were shot. So it could still be Mason. It can't now be Lilith because she's carrying a sword. Um, it could still be Killian, but it can't be Ivy because she's carrying a dagger. So we're down to Mason and Killian for uh, for Bob's there, I think, if I've been playing it right. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay, so I am going to I'm gonna take another card. I'm gonna swap a card now. This is another part of the game. I can put my crime scene card in. Ah, put that well, down. Don't don't forget don't forget it's not necessarily what it says on the card because we're playing the face crime rules. Oh. So in this one, the crime scene means you can either make an accusation. Yes. Um, or replenish your hand if someone's played a foul play on you, which I don't think. What if you make a, an accusation and it's wrong? That's a good question, actually. Um, is, there, is there no penalty for that? I don't know. Let me have a quick look. Uh, so, um, I'm not entirely sure myself, I'm honest with you. Um, I've got rules all over the place here. Um. I think you have to get it right. I think it's a bit like guess who, I would and say. What happens if you, you get it, if you get it wrong? Do you lose the game? I I would say so. I'd imagine so. I don't know. Um, it it's doesn't say harsh, anywhere it? that I can find quickly enough to to get an answer without this being extraordinarily awkward. Okay. Well, <laughs> should we say that if I make the wrong <laughs> accusation, uh, the game's over? As far as I would answers, say, so, that was so probably. I'm not going to do that. So probably, I, I oh, okay. can't use this. I can't show this card. Is it? I can replenish, can't I? So I can put this down and pick up another card. You can throw it away. I wouldn't personally because you will need it to make an accusation later. Oh. If you're not making one now. No, I'm going to throw it away. I'm sorry. Okay. Right. I'm, I'm, I'm okay. Oh, he's got. He's, he's got another one. <laughs> oh, <that's laughs> Guessing he's one. got another one. <laughs> so I'm going to play. Um, yeah. The foul play card. Okay. Which means that I get to make sure that you throw away either all of your blue, green, or purple cards. Right. Okay. So. If you I hold can't up your replenish hand, them, can I? Yeah. Okay, you can't replenish hand. them unless you play the card that you just threw away. So you've got blue, you've green, and you've got purple. Oh, sorry, you've got blue, red, and purple. So I'm going to ask you to throw away your uh, purple one, please. Purple one. Is this one here? Yeah. Yeah. Bring it. Do you just yeah. get to see what it is? Uh, no. Okay. I don't think so. I think you just throw it away. Throw it away. Okay. Fine. So. Let's have a look. So we're down, down to Mason, Smothers, and Killian Lynch for you. Oh, wrong one. So. Uh, there I go. Particular piece of evidence isn't going to help actually. So I won't ask that one. What I'm going to do is. I'm going to discard a card and pick another one up. Oh. I'm not actually going to play at all because um, it doesn't help me. Right. <laughs> okay, so it's your turn. 
Okay, uh, I am going to... Uh, here we are, play that one. Victim was, was your victim shot. shot? Um, oh, yes. Yes, they were. Good. I'm not sure if that narrows it down at all for you. It does. Okay, excellent. So there you go, so it's someone with a gun. Um, I'm going to throw away another evidence card, mainly because, I'll tell you why I'm doing it, the card I've got is Killer Has Grey Hair, and the two people I've got left it could possibly be if both got brown hair, so oh, right. there's no point in me even asking a question. I might as well pick something up and, uh, and okay. hope it's more useful to me. Okay, I am going to... My go, is it? Yes. Yeah. Foul play. Oh, well, that's yes. what I've got. So you can take away be... my um, blue, green, or purple cards. I've got two right. blues and two greens. Uh, I'll take away your two greens. Two greens. So you want this one and um, this one. Yes, please. They're gone. And because you've used foul play, I can't replenish, so I'm left with just the three cards. Okay. Right, my go? Uh, no, because you just did that. So okay. Keep up, doors. <laughs> Keep up. <laughs> I'm going to get rid of one because... Um, it's it's a suspect, and I don't want Bob seeing it. Okay. Um, and I've picked up another one. Okay. Okay. Your turn. Uh, I'm going to play this one, the fair play one. And how does that work? So fair play uh, means I need to show you any of my cards that have got red backs on them. And fortunately for me, I oh, don't have any. What a waste! They're all blue. Um, so what I am going to do is I'm going to play the crime scene card because I'm getting low on cards and because yeah. they're all blue backed if you play a foul play you could just win the game by getting rid of all my blues so even though I want to keep hold of that to make an accusation yeah. later I'm going to get rid of it in Ooh. order to replenish my hand back to five because otherwise I may have no hand at all so oh. I now have five cards back in my hand okay and I am going to replenish one of my cards too. Oh, okay. I, I can. Oh no, I'm not. So what, what, oh yes. Uh, it's red back. Uh, I think it doesn't necessarily do what it says on the card. It's what's no. on here on the screen here. Um, well, I'm going to I'm going to play this one again. Although I know it doesn't work with you, I don't think it does unless you just picked Fair up. play. A... So I have to show you my red back cards. No, I've got no, blues and green. Okay, well, I'll pick up another one anyway. Might be more useful. No. <laughs> um, nice. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to play the uh, fair play card and ask you to um, to show me your red backed cards. Red backed cards. Uh, how many have I got? One. That's the one I didn't want. Do I show oh, it to I see. you? Yep. It's okay. I am seen. Okay, so it's not a do suspect. I get to, do I get to pick up one that I've lost? Uh, no, you keep it. You don't don't discard oh, I it. Keep it. Oh, yeah. You, you just show me what it, it is. Yeah. Right, okay. But if it was a suspect you had in your hand, it would be yes. someone I could tick off the list because I know they're not then on your desk in the cell as the suspect, you see. Okay, right. Um, so it's your turn. I'm going to get rid of this one. Fair play. Your red cards. Still none. Not any good. Um, I'll pick up another so... one. Oh. Is this going to help me? Um... No. Okay, so my evidence cards aren't going to help me either because I've got one that says the killer is male and the two suspects I've got left are Mason and Killian, so I know they're male anyway, so I'm going to discard that and pick up another one. Okay. Can I just see the cards, what they what we do with them? Just yeah. see if there's any... If you start your opponent's question... Okay. Oh, this gosh. is becoming a much more in-depth game than the first time where you just wipe the floor. So with basically, away. you can't play a red... You can only play a card that has some impact. You can't, so I couldn't play a red herring now because that, I can only use that in response. In Yes, yeah. Red herring and block are responses to what I've okay. just done. Right. Okay. Well, I, I could lose this, but I might take a chance. Okay. I am going to accuse you 
Uh, I think it's Mort Throttle. No. Oh. So going out on a limb. How many suspects were you down to? Two. You were, you were, oh, you're between two. So you had a 50 50 chance that yes. this card uh, in my hand here yes, is more yes. throttle. You're enjoying this far too much. I'm you're really enjoying not. this far too much. I'm really uh, not. It was more. I got it right. You got it right. Oh. <laughs> well, that was. Because so, I, was, I was only left with blocks of red herrings. Ah, and I didn't right. want to throw this away. So I was, yeah. I was in a cul de sac. In an investigation mm. cul-de-sac, so well, you, um, you could you could in that case play your put your red herrings away. You could throw them and pick up another one. But so again, oh, I didn't they, know they, that. So you can get rid of a card if you don't want to. Yeah, yeah. Oh, right. Yeah, oh, I didn't know that. Yeah. Oh yes. Well, you, you still won. No, still won. <laughs> still twice. Well, there we are. I'm not going <laughs> to gloat. But <laughs> so, did you have Killian or Mason then? Uh, I had. Uh... Oh yeah, Killian Lynch. Killian. Wh which one would you you gone for? I really didn't know. I really didn't know. All the evidence cards I kept picking up were saying um, about whether they were shot or stabbed. I knew at that point they both had guns. Um, whether they were male, I knew they were both male. And whether they had brown hair or grey hair. And I knew they really had brown hair. So the Do evidence you know cards what? It's so a just really weren't coming good up for game, me. this. I prefer it, it to Cluedo. I prefer it to Cluedo. I, yeah. Uh, uh, um, um, I it's like cross between Guess Who and Cluedo and various other things but all oh, sandily in a pack of cards that's that's yes. literally it comes with lots game. of lovely little things like there's all the there's all the characters yeah. and various yeah. other things and and the online game. i mean i think it's great how many players can play it um, two two i think it's two to five yeah according to the box yeah. two to five yeah. players it says age is yeah. 14 plus um, yeah. mainly just because of the content being about murder i mean there's no swearing or anything like that so you know parental advisory i would i would personally say but um, yeah, there it is. Foul play. It, that's literally the game in a box. Um, the rules are available online. There are in the main game. There are actually two different versions you can play with with different rules to what we've been playing today. So there's good cop and bad cop. Um, and we've been playing that the third variation because we're not together and we have to use two packs of cards. We've been playing face crime, which is the um, the slightly simplified version that you can play online. <laughs> That's probably so, why I won. Um, yeah, well, so, I mean, three, um, three games in one. You know, you can buy this. Um, all you, all I'll say is for face crime, each player needs to have a deck of cards, um, needs to have a copy of the game. Uh, and when you can all get together and see each other again in, in one room, then you can play either good cop or bad cop with, with yeah. just the one pack of cards. So um, it's, it's, it's brilliant. You get it from a foul play game. .co.uk. I'm going to put all these links um, in the notes here on YouTube. And as a Partners in Crime listener slash watcher, you can actually get a discount. If you enter the um, code Partners in Crime at the checkout, then the game goes down from £8.95 to £7.95, which is very nice as well. There we go. Well, I mean, I, I, genuinely, I mean, I've only just learnt to play it just before coming on air i watched you and open the I'm, pack this morning so yeah yeah i mean this is a fresh pack and i'm useless at this sort of thing uh at, at, at learning games and whatever but it is incredibly um easy to to, to, to get a swing of it but it also mm. makes you feel very clever because you have to you know use the great sense <laughs> mon ami uh to um uh, to, to actually just keep a uh on. so it's a fantastic game um so i'm gonna I'm, i've got my set now so i'm okay but i'm gonna get another set for the uh, for the girls and uh, and perfect for those british holidays if we ever get through to them i don't know whether we'll be flying anywhere but for those british yeah. holidays and you're in your tent or you're in your caravan somewhere or you're traveling on a train or in the back of a car and you fancy a game i think it's absolutely spot on mm. yeah it's great fun this is I, I i played it once or twice the other night with um, with my wife uh, to try and get a, a grip on the rules and work out how it all works we've not played either of the two main versions yet actually so we've still got two more games that we can get out of this pack i mean two different variations and you can play it over and over and over any of the three variations so yeah it's wonderful really to have so much in in one pack yeah thank you very much to um to the guys for uh for sending yes. us um Bravo. the games with it's um and yeah we wouldn't we wouldn't recommend anything that we wouldn't recommend if that makes sense it so makes it's, total it's, sense to me it's but not just because they sent us a copy each it's because we do think it is genuinely brilliant that is the and, and because they've got a they've got a provenance in this as well because you know they are uh, uh, I think the country's premier uh, murder mystery weekend um, uh, producers as well as 
at the sort of running, organising, setting up in Is There Their Baby, uh, Morecambe and Vice, the crime uh, fiction uh, book festival in Morecambe. So, I mean, they know what they're talking about. They really mm -hmm. do. And it shows in their detail and attention to, uh, to setting all this up. And it, it works splendidly. So well done, chaps. Indeed, indeed. And if you're watching this for the first time, you haven't got a clue who we are or what we're doing or why we're talking about this. Um, we present a podcast called Partners in Crime. We're, we're both crime writers and uh, we get together once a week and essentially talk nonsense. Sometimes we get to crime fiction. We mostly don't. We blather uh, we away, don't we? A we bit do. Of, bit a bit of jolly away. banter. Yes, we're about um, 130 episodes in now, so we've got plenty to catch up on. We've done lots of guest interviews with big names like... Um, Val McDermid, um, Mark Billingham, Peter James, Tess Gerritsen, uh, just a few people for top of my DCI Barnaby from Midsummer. We had him on as well. Just a, a few few people off the uh, the top of my yeah. head there. So um, do go back and and check out those. And forgive my creaky chair. That often makes an appearance. <laughs> as did the bin men when we were doing our run through earlier on. The bin men made an appearance. Which they, they they're always there. They lurk around the corner. Uh, regular listeners to Partners in Crime know that uh, Adam's bin men. Uh, lurk around the corner whenever we're broadcasting just to get a slight moment of glory and, and why not yeah. doesn't matter what day or what time we record as soon as that there fader there. goes up the truck out rumbles the bin, out the goes the black bin out goes yeah. the, the gardening bin that's it so anyway lovely right. well uh thank you very much thanks foul play i thoroughly enjoyed that and uh farewell and anyone who's actually s sat through this and managed to glean anything <laughs> <laughs> at all well done i mean that's a, yeah, well that's done. a mystery game in itself but uh and uh, well done adam i explained that superbly well i hope so thank you so do head over to foulplaygame.co.uk use your uh, promo code partners in crime for a pound off and of course every pound counts or something <laughs>